Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. In this video we're custom painting journals and notebooks in a Twin Telepathy 3 colour paint challenge. So we did a painting school planner video at the beginning of the year and since then we've got so many requests to do it again. And we recently bought these notebooks for homeschooling from Amazon, the link will be in the description. These ones are particularly good because they have a craft cover so they're really easy to DIY on and you can use them for school subjects or as a journal or a diary. And if you like this video or are interested in recycled materials then make sure to go check out our parents channel Let's We Make It. They're posting a video tomorrow where they make notebooks entirely from recycled materials so if you're interested in seeing that, that will be on their channel. Before we get started we just want to make sure you're all doing well and staying safe. And thank you again to everyone who has shared their work on Instagram, we love looking at your DIYs. And for all your lovely comments. Okay, so let's get started. If you haven't seen one of these challenges before, how it will work is we'll have two different rounds, which means all together we will be painting four notebooks. For each round we'll both get a notebook and a variety of different items and colours that we can use to decorate the notebook. And our mum will give us different options and we've got to try and pick the same ones. And if we do, we get a point. If we don't, we get no points. So we're going to put the border up now, we'll be able to see you in a minute. <laughs> Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa, so we have pink and purple. I love this one, I feel like this one will look so cool with. Okay, you should, I think you should speak. Okay, so I think, you think, I think I know what you meant when you said you, you like the colour. I think you meant this one because I don't know if I'm right, but I think the last time I heard you say this was your favourite colour but I think this is the right one, so I think if you're gonna go with this one, then I'll go with it. So I'm gonna pick this one. Well, <laughs> the one I was talking about is not my favorite color, but neither of these are my favorite color. <laughs> Sorry there. I think we both like this color, and I really hope she knows that I do like this one. So I'm gonna go with this one. Well, I like both of the colors the same, so that's not really helpful, but I'm gonna pick this one. And I'm picking this one. On to the second colour. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Right, so we have a lime green and an opaque bright yellow tone. And um, well, favourite colours. I remember yellow was Ruby's favourite colour, but I also, I don't know if you actually like green. But you might, I'm not sure if you do. Well, I do love both of these colours actually, so that makes it a bit easier for you to choose. But I think you might not expect me to pick the one I'm about to pick, but I think you might pick it because I never end up picking it. So I do like this colour a lot, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, well, I wouldn't expect you to pick this one, so I'm going to pick this one. But I'm picking this one, and I'm picking this one. Round three. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, these are quite similar colours. We have a purple and a yeah. blue. The blue, I feel like, actually no, I can't say that. It'll give something away. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so I feel like you like this colour. But um, I think between these two, I feel like you always pick this one, but like today. I'm trying to give you a clue here that I'm going to pick the other one. So, I'm going to pick this one. I don't think I can say this out loud without giving it away, so I'm going to kind of demonstrate. But, and then, I can't really, I'm really confused over here. <laughs> anyway, I'm picking this one. And I'm picking this one. There are five rounds to each one, and I have no idea what round four or round five could be. We've got all the colours, so it could be like details or something. Yeah, we've had that in the past. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, cards. <laughs> right, so we have art, media studies, we have subjects. These are subjects oh, in Oh, so we've science got theme. or geography. So basically, we have to pick a theme of school subjects. Yeah. So these are actually the sum of subjects that Brady have taken, not including English, maths, or the things you have to do. It's funny, these are my GCSE option subjects, so these are the ones I picked um, on top of maths and English. Okay, right, 
So the colours I've already got, I could do any of these easily, so I don't, I'm not going to eliminate any in the beginning. I wonder what Ruby would do though. I don't think she'd do... I don't think she'll do this one. I'm not going to do this one because I don't really know what it's about to be honest and <laughs> I don't really know what it is. <laughs> and I feel like that I have a good idea with this sort of subject as well as I think Brady will. I can't say what it is but you'll see when I start doing it and the reveal. But I have a good idea for this that I love drawing so I think I'm going to pick this one and I think Ray will pick it too. I hope she does. I also don't think Ruby's going to pick this one. She's most likely to pick this maybe. So this is what I'm picking. And this is what I'm picking. Now it's the last round. Ooh, what could this be? Three, two, one. Ooh, oh my goodness. So these are post-it notes or well, they're actually tabs to kind of label sections off. I used to use these in primary school and we used to use them for when my teacher had marked my work and I had to answer to her work. So these will be really good because if they're school books, you can put different categories. Geography, you could have like natural life, environment, environment. I think between these two, I feel like a fancy one I want to go for and I always use these all the time so I like these a lot and I feel like there's so many things you can do with them and I hope Brady picks them I can't really say anything that gives it away okay so judging by everything you said I know you've used well you've used both of them before as have I but these ones are easier to find I'm gonna go with the fact that this is what you picked so I'm picking this one and I'm picking this one, and now we're going to do our notebooks. Yay! Okay, so we've got our paints, our paint brushes, our notebooks, and we know what we're doing on them. Our mum has also given us a black and white poster pen, which we can use for anything like detailing yeah. or mixing the colours with it. And we also have pencil and rubber this week, I have. I have an idea of what I'm doing, but I don't actually know yet, so we're going to start chopping. Yeah, same here. So we're going to have a quick look on our phones. I know what I'm going to do now. I think Ruby does as well and I've got to draw mine out so that's what I'm doing. Same, I'm going to start by drawing it out and I've got my idea too. So mm -hmm. let's start. So I've now finished my drawing part and I'm about to start painting. What about you really? I'm not finished my drawing part. <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm just going to start doing a bit of my painting because the painting is the main bit. Yeah, have fun. Thank you. Oh, is that tape I hear? It is. Cool, so you're using tape. I don't need to use tape, but oh, wow. I do. <laughs> I think I finished it now. Nice, well done. I've done all of the colours but I'm not done with them. Oh, so you're doing like building yeah. them up. I feel like I always end up building them up and you always do one first. True. Okay, so I've basically finished all of my paint but I now need to do some Posca. I've finished my paint as well. I'm doing my pen as well. took a bit longer than me but we're both done now yeah i got a bit carried away with the postal pen but it was really fun to do and we've got one thing left to do and it's these post-it note index tab things so we're going to put them on and then we'll be back for the final reveal okay so we've finished with the finishing touches both of our books are completely done and i'm so excited to show you hi <laughs> 
So first glance, we can see the tabs we got. And yeah. It looks like we got the same ones, but you just used like pattern colours. Yeah, I did. Well done. Do you want to show yours first? Yeah, okay. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's very beautiful. Thank you. And also... <gasps> Wait, that's so cool. Wait till I hold it. Yeah. I definitely took quite a while and got carried away with the possible <laughs> pens, but... What did you pick? Art? I picked science because you know when they learn about plants and yeah. all that, that's what. There is so much detail there, it looks so good. You did a really good job. Thank you. So I'm gonna show you guys in three, two, one. So this is mine and I really love it. So I got science on mine and I kind of got it from when I, I recently learned about like plants and all that. So I thought I'd do like a cute tree with flowers on it. So I've got different colour flowers on it and I used a Posca pen on it to do loads of dots and I actually got this from online. These tabs, the really fancy ones, I put them on each page and I left five pages each for each like subject in science maybe I could do. Now I just put the rest of the tabs on the back if I need them. It is very good and I didn't actually think to put the tabs in the back. Yours is so good. I didn't expect it to look like that at all. I'm excited to see yours, I have no idea. Mine's a lot simpler. It took a bit of time to get right, but it's got less to it. Okay. Is that your eyes? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! That's so good. Thank you. I'm guessing you got science. I did. <gasps> we did good. Whoa! <laughs> your colours. Yeah, so we got one, two, we got three. Yours is so basic, but it's really precise, so it must have been Thank quite you. hard to get it all the same, but it's so good. It's so cool how we interpreted that differently. We both got science. Yeah. So, this is mine. I kind of went for the chemistry science, so if I was to pick science place, it'd be chemistry. And I think this is so cool. I really like the idea. I'm very happy with how it turned out. It's really good. And we did very well. We both yeah, got we did. three out of five. These are a custom science booklet. We're gonna go on to round two now, but we're gonna do round two tomorrow because it's kind of late now. So we'll see you in a different outfit. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day now, and we're gonna go on to our second round. And we're gonna close our eyes to see the first color. Three, two, one. <gasps> um, okay, so I love both of these colors. I know in the past, Ruby has expressed that she prefers one of them. I can't really say anything because it's going to give it away, but I have a lot of reasons which I would say, but I can say one of them, which is that I feel like this colour will go well with a lot of things you can paint and stuff like that, because I feel like there's so many things you can do with this colour, and I I mostly pick this colour, so I'm going to go with this colour. <laughs> okay, if you're saying there are loads of things you can do with it, I'm good. I think it's this one. So for that reason, I'm going with this colour. And I'm going with this colour. <laughs> Round two. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, I love these two colours together. Both of these colours are very pretty. I actually really like them both. I think with the colours I've already got, I really want to go for this one because I feel like um, I could do a lot of things with it. So for this round, I feel like it go either way anyway, so I'm just going to go for this one. I feel like it's quite obvious with what I would pick and I think that between these two colours I have quite good ideas with these two colours together instead of these two and I think I'm going to go with this one and I think really we'll pick this one because if she knows me she'll know that I prefer this colour from this colour So I'm picking this one and I'm picking this one Round three Three, two, one. Ooh, Ooh nice! Cute colours, they're quite similar, we have a cream sort of colour, which will probably look white on the camera, yeah. and a yellow. The yellow is so bright. They're both so pretty. They're both really similar. Yeah, definitely. I feel like the colours I've already got, both of these go really well with them. I think it's quite cool. I hope they both go with yours because that would mean that we've got good colours. Um, <laughs> not so much. I feel like between these two, really favourite between these two would be this one. And I think this one will go well with mine too, so I feel like it's a good choice, so I'm going to go with this one. Um, <laughs> I like them both. I think Ruby does like them both. I'm pretty sure she prefers one of them. So for that reason, I'm going to pick the one I think she prefers, which is this one. So I'm picking this one. 
and I'm picking this one. Three, two, one. All cards. Ooh, okay, like so we have ideas. Oh. Dream. Travel. <laughs> And food. Oh, so it's like a journal idea. So food, travel, dream, more ideas. Ooh. Ruby loves this one. Mm. I don't think Ruby would pick this one, more because I don't know what I'd do for it. And I can't imagine her doing anything around that theme. I feel like I'm gonna eliminate, even though I think about it, I like. I, I don't really know what I would do with it, and I feel like it's the hardest one to draw something about and paint, so I'm gonna eliminate that one. I have two left now. Um, oh no. Right. Both of these ones, I feel like we could both do really cool things for. Um, I feel like equally, they could both be like really nice. I'm gonna shuffle them. <laughs> Ruby pick an arm. Right. Okay, I have one left. Okay, I'll do the same. Okay, pick a hand. Left. Ooh. Okay, so I'm doing this one. And I'm doing this one. We have one round left and then we're gonna do them. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh! Do you think it's like the thing that connects each side of it? Oh my goodness, wait, that's such a good idea. So we have green set up yellow ones and brown ones. I guess half of this decision kind of goes with what you pick because you don't want to pick an opposite back yeah. colour. Each one of these has thread in, it has a button and it also has a bead and they're all kind of surrounding the same colour theme. Oh, they're cool. Wait, I love these. I have an idea of what I'm going to pick. First off, I feel like straight away I looked at this one because it matches this and I feel like out of all of these, it would go together because of the color it is and it doesn't really have a theme to it. Also, I feel like this one really wouldn't pick because it's, you have to have colors which are like it to go with it. And I feel like she wouldn't. And this one, they're really similar, but I just think they really would pick this one. Okay, so each of these has a color that we could have picked so far that matches it quite well. However, this one has a color like it but not the same. So I'm going to assume that this is one Ruby Eliminated. And I have two left. Um, both of them would actually go with mine. You know what? I prefer this one with mine. I'm just going to go with the one that looks good with mine. So I'm picking this one. So I'm picking this one. And I'm picking this one. And now we can do it. Okay, so we've got all of our materials now. We've got our paints, our paint brushes, our water, our palettes, and our pencils. And we've also researched what design we're gonna do so we both know now. Yes. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw our designs out. And mine's kind of complicated, actually. Mine's quite easy because I've done quite an easier one in the last round. drawing our designs out now. I think I'll probably start with actually maybe a mix of these two. I'm going to be mixing the black Costco pen with this paint so it makes it a bit darker. So let's get started. <laughs> of my first, second colour, sorry. I finished one colour, I've added a bit of Posca pen to my design now, and it's actually looking really nice, I'm very proud of it. <laughs> cool. So we've just both finished the 
started painting and it's looking really good but all we have to do now is the final details with the Posca pens. I've got quite a lot of pens still on mine, it's kind of the main part and it looks a bit funny without it. Same. <laughs> now i'm very excited but the only thing we've both got to do now is put the button tie on so we're gonna do that and then we'll be back for the final reveal both finished now and oh my goodness I'm so excited to show mine it's I'm really proud of this DIY it's probably my favorite DIY I've done in a while and the button tie really finishes it off yeah I love mine so much I, I think it's my favorite one too and I can't wait to see yours we're gonna take the barrier down and then we're gonna show each other and we flip them upside down so we can't see them I'll show mine oh I'm really excited okay, okay three two one <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's so good! Thank you. What category? Guess. Tr travel. Yeah, travel. I forgot <gasps> what it was. Oh my gosh, that, that looks so good together. I love this one so much. <laughs> it's so good. I like it. It's definitely your style. It has so much detail. It's amazing. I don't think we did that well in this category, but I love how they're different and I'm excited. Oh no. Mine. Okay, so I'm going to show all of you now. Ready? This is what I did, and I did a camera, and I got this image online, so the idea isn't mine, but the execution is mine. It's so cool what you did. It's like safari. And I kind of, it's like a beach lake. It's a really pretty scene, kind of like a quarry, jungle type thing. Yeah, and then there's grass, sea, and yellow things poking out of the image. And then I got the green tie set, and this is really cool. So it's tied in the back, and there's a button in the front, and you just wrap it around, and then it stays. It's so good, it's like all comes together when you do that. I'm really proud of this. It's very good, 10 out of 10. It's very different to mine, but oh, I'm no. excited. Okay, close your eyes. Three. Two, one. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wait. Oh my goodness. Wait, that looks really good. We didn't do that well, but it was. It was Aww. Wait, the eyes are so good. They took me a while. Yeah, I they're like. Precise. What did you get then? I got ideas and I thought of it because of a wise owl, like, you know. Oh. Like I got it online too, but I kind of made the colours in my own because I didn't have a green. Okay, I'm going to show you in three, two, one. So I got ideas. I got ideas and I thought of an owl first and I searched up online and this is what I came up with. So it's an owl on a like twig. So I have the button as well as you did and I just got this sort of like one that matches it. But yeah, I love this and I'm proud of myself. It's really beautiful, I really love yours. Okay, so these are our final custom journals. This is a travel journal and this is an idea journal. And I'm so proud of both of them. I think we did this round really well. Same. I feel like this is my favourite one I've ever done, honestly. I think this might be one of my favourite DIYs we've done on this channel. Okay, so that's the end of our video. And these are our final journal notebooks. I am so proud of how they both look. I'm so proud of you. And I'm really proud of me on this one. <laughs> yeah, same. They're really cool. I'm really... I'm proud. And again, we'll put a link to where we got these books from in the description box because they are so good for DIYs. We've got a pack of 12 of them and you can do so many things. You could do one thing for each subject. Or you could just do different journals. Make sure to head over to the community page and comment who's you prefer. Ruby's round one. Or Rayleigh's round one. Ruby's round two. Or Rayleigh's round two. <laughs> Also remember to head over to our parents' channel where they've done a video a lot like this where they actually make the notebooks from recycled materials. Their channel's Let's Remake It and the video will be up tomorrow. Make sure to go check it out. 
We have two shout outs for this video. First shout out goes to Tamara El Haj. Thank you so much for hashtagging our sister squad on the community page and being really nice and positive in the comments. The second shout out goes to Cameron Waller. Thank you so much for subscribing to us, hashtagging our sister squad and for always commenting on our videos. We can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and early squad. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you're staying safe. We love you. Bye. They're posting a video tomorrow where they... Or... I can't... I can't speak. I think we got this right, but I'm gonna pick... Ho. Ah! <laughs> Give me a back... I didn't look, I didn't look. I promise. Most of my designs were pen and... No, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs>